Hello and welcome to Comp. So, what, what is it? Tuesday night. The, We're coming is, to you late. Sorry, I let you answer. What what was it going to be? It is a Tuesday night. I was correct. Oh wait, no. Oh no. Well, it's midnight, so it's past. It's Wednesday now. Happy New Year. What is going on? <laughs> uh, whatever. Um, trying to sabotage the moment. I got, I got myself turned. I yes. had momentum. You're trying to nitpick. It was Tuesday night. It w- well, okay. Uh, <laughs> off to a great start. Uh, Lucy, my ever-present, uh, omnipresent, is that a word? Producer? Um, I mean, I'm everywhere, always. Yeah, you're a producer and a co-host or whatever. doesn't matter. We're, not, we're, we're yeah. going to label this in this day and age. We're going to have <laughs> labels for this. No more labels. We're, we're in a labelless world, and I'm fine with that. I don't need to label anything. You can do what you want. You be who you want. I don't give a shit. All right? I'm the, I'm the voice of a generation that doesn't have one, doesn't need one, doesn't want one. I'm just saying whatever. It's fine. <laughs> that's nice. People, yeah. That should be You say warm... that, but then when I want to experiment with puppy play, you're like, no way, Jose. Yeah, I mean, you know, it's, pu- what's a puppy going to do in, 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 a, in a... It's just you shouldn't... It's It's grooming. <laughs> You know what I mean? It, like you shouldn't you shouldn't do that with like you know it's, it's, it's a child puppy. <laughs> I'm not comfortable with that. I'm kind of, you know if you want me to be a full grown adult puppy or dog just you know burying bones and just slowly dying. Mm. I could do that. I could be a dog that's slowly dying. His best years are behind him. Uh, he, you come home and he's just you know he's just there. Kind of doesn't come running to you because he's just he's kind of lost. That, whatever that is, that, that spunk, that spirit. But, you know, if you lay down next to him and you'll, he'll, you pet him, he'll just kind of moan. And he probably has a liver problem. But, you know, you, you don't have the money to look into that. So it's just like, you know, what are you going to spend seven grand to get him a new liver? I mean, you love the thing, but still a thing, right? <laughs> I mean, it's not, I'm not envisioning being one of those households where I'm not a thing if I'm a dog. You don't imagine it like if you had a dog that it would be like you'd, you'd be like if he was my best friend, like at his dog funeral. Yeah, if, it, if it, well, if if I was owned by a child, but you know, a grown man, who <laughs> wants that? Some guy, some fucking lonely, you know, some lonely drifter, some some guy like playing you know acoustic guitar on the side of a highway towards an oil field, and he just you know he's just, he's just trying to get by. And he's got his dog with him. I'm that dog. What is it? What do I want with that? And he's like, you're my best friend. He's like, what is this? Yeah, and you're like, at what point in your situation did you say, I, I think I'm ready to take care of a living thing? I think I'm That's ready the for dog? a dog. <laughs> we, yeah, like, yeah. Why, why don't you eat the dog, all right? Why don't you eat that dog, get a little fucking protein, and maybe you can, you know, I'm not even saying get a job, just play the guitar better. You actually learn to play. You play like three chords. You know? Hmm. Well, you're a dog person, though. You don't get it. You don't get what I'm saying. <laughs> um, what? What kind of dog do you think I would you be? I think I'd be like a little, uh, you know, maybe like a little Dalmatian. I could see myself. Those even real fitting into a Dalmatian role. Or does this fake cartoon? The, the screen went off. <sighs> you just you, you know you did one job to keep the comp screen on. I need people to look at this podcast and see a screen. Why is it rebooting? Oh, no. It's doing a software No update. one know what you, this is so, welcome to. Can the people handle? Well, welcome to, I don't know what. I don't know what show this is. <laughs> this might be, is, is, is this uh, Two Broke Girls? Is Are there we, a way they can watch the software update so they know how long it's going to be? I don't know. I don't know. It's fine. Just don't, don't, just, there's nothing we can do. Nothing we can do. This is, this there's nothing a, to be done. You're welcome. <laughs> You're, uh, this is a very professional show. Well, the, you know, people, people messaging me telling me that when you type my name into Patreon, uh, nothing comes up. I'm being like, <laughs> really? I'm being blacklisted of Patreon. But I tried it on a different, like I logged out and tried to log in. I seem to get in. I don't know if people just don't know how to, wow. are they putting the F at the end of my name? But there's a link on my Twitter, a link on my Instagram. You can go and just click directly. <laughs> It'll take you there. So just, just go to... There's a link in this episode. Just look at the link in the YouTube. Uh, You're getting shadow banned. For what? For, for saying I don't want to be a dog? <laughs> I 
I mean, you know, the amount of, uh, I mean, I doubt it when they started banning, you know, white, quote unquote, well, not quote unquote, white supremacists and other people. I mean, I'm sure everyone banned wasn't a full on white supremacist, but, you know, there was a, that's where it started. Or really Alex Jones, I guess. And then, which he technically is, he isn't. Like, I don't think it's what his gimmick is. Yeah. Uh, people love these things together. There were probably like, like a couple of guys who got caught up in that who were just like live tweeting Jordan Peterson's recovery. Yeah, yeah. Like, it's like, hope, hope, <laughs> keep my room clean, boss. Hope you get better soon. Uh, <laughs> don't, you know, uh, I just got, you know, one day at a time, I got, you know, just uh, be the champion of uh, my own my own coliseum. You know things are getting things are getting better with my dad. They're not great. They're not they're not as good as they're going to be, but they're getting better. My We're dad doesn't better. respect me, but he acknowledges that I'm there now. Uh, he, he you know when he throws a, a bottle at my head, he goes, "I wish I wish you were dead." Instead of just just completely disregarding me, <laughs> uh, he wishes he wishes me dead, and that's an improvement, Mr. Peterson. Mm. I hope you ho- ho- hope peace and love find you. In the Kazakhstani prison, wherever you are, <laughs> uh, I don't know. I mean, that where, where was he? He was back in Ukraine. Where he was, was he? Russia. It was straight up Russia. He was in the big one, I Russia. Think, oh wow, yeah. That's just I don't know what that means. I, I mean that I don't know. Like I'm not saying like oh I don't know what that means. He must be a Russian. I'm saying, I don't know what that means. Uh, good for him. <laughs> good for you. I, I. What's the difference? Yeah. Oh, he doesn't like this. Yeah. Look, someone's gonna come around and and talk to idiots and people, and like at least he told nice Bible stories. Yeah, you know the fish and the and the, and the you know Jesus fed the loaves. He was he broke down the Lion King. He was like a proto Big Joel in that way. I don't I don't know why you keep bringing up Big Joel. <laughs> you think we're gonna start a, like one of these crossover things with Big Joel? Hey, can we get but shout out to Big Joel? <laughs> Huh? Is that what we're going to do now? Like Hello, him. Big Joel. Would you like to do crossover content? <laughs> Explain what Big Joel is to these people. He's a guy. He's, he's you know, a little, ironically, a, a smaller guy mm. who he wears, like, Is you that know, coming? He wears kind of kitschy sweaters, and he talks about Disney movies. What do you mean? Like, like, like a gremlin? Or Pixar movies. What do you mean kitschy? Like a gremlin's Christmas sweater? <laughs> yeah, something. Like, he might wear something like that. Oh, great. And, and, you, and you just, this is your guru? Yeah. <laughs> This is who you've like allied yourself with in the in the coming wars, the Big Joel <laughs> channel. It's like you know, remember we you know uh, t- this Tuesday we have a, a Lion King potluck, and then we're also going to be sharpening spears for, for the for the arena. <laughs> we're all going to be broken down by YouTube fiefdoms. Mm. Gonna be a that really f- is going to yeah yeah. There's going to be a comp fiefdom, and I'm prepping these people for it. And you're bringing. Big Joel. We, we're trying to build alliances here. You're right. And you want Big Joel to talk about, I don't even know what, like Lilo and Stitch? I, I apologize. What is this? Who is Lilo and Stitch? We're going to take over YouTube. I've never seen Lilo and Stitch. What is it? Um, It's about, I think it takes place in Hawaii, and it's about a little girl and her- And, and a rat? And her little monster friend. He's just a monster. He's not, like, usually these things are like koalas or like- you know, to have like a, a French guinea rat or whatever. I feel like he was just like a vague, cute little monster. He may have been a koala. Oh, he's an know. alien, right? Yeah, he's na- that's right. He's an alien. It's great. Comps- <laughs> Comp sign's still not up. Do we know what we're talking about today? Um, or is that all on the laptop? There's a you know, there's a bunch of things we could talk. We, about. We have everything sure. stored in this laptop. Do you seems, want me to feed you it something? It seems like I'm off the cuff, twenty four seven, but I'm just I'm just being fed lines by Lucy <laughs> the whole show. <laughs> And now, uh, yeah, well, what, what, what did you, you wanted to talk about the impeachment, you said. Well, that went on, yeah. I mean, they started doing, you know, arguments for impeachment. Yeah, I guess. Well, yeah. Oh, oh, they did. Yeah, they started doing that. They, they didn't make arguments for, you know, like uh, gun control. <laughs> <No>. <laughs> they were like, hey, you're like, maybe let's overturn Roe v. Wade while we're here. You see, Ray, yeah. usually at an impeachment trial. Yeah. The primary focus is impeachment. Sure. Whether to do one or not do one. That does make sense. Yeah. Uh, so how did it go? Is, 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 is he still president? Trump? <laughs> is he still president? Well, I guess it's like, what, what are they doing this for? It's so that he can't he can't seek office again, right? He can't seek office again. I guess they, look, some people want to like make some point, like you shouldn't be able to compel people to storm the Capitol to overturn an election. <laughs> I, I mean, I get I it. I want to make a point. Yeah, sure. It's like, I mean, look, the idea that, like, that would be a point to be worth making, that's like really a 90s thing, maybe. 
And even in the 90s, we wasted the 90s, you know, going for blowjobs <laughs> with Malga Lewinsky. You know, so it's like, you know, when, when, when was the last time it would have been plausible to, like, actually condemn someone overthrowing the government or trying to? I mean, I think 1940s? Could, I think you could probably do it in the 90s. You could probably do it in, like, the early 2000s. I don't know. We were faking our way into an Iraq war. That's true. I mean, the government, like, <laughs> in the 2000s, like, Trump, like, they overthrew the government, like, six months after they got in. They've really had our balls the in a government over the, the government overthrew itself for no reason six months in. Like, like we're already a president. You're already the executive branch. Like, now nah, we need more. We need a reason. You could have just done this. We, we wouldn't have known the Patriot Act. Now, let's just blow up the Twin Towers anyway. Right. Let's just do it. It's just... <laughs> I mean, I'm, I'm not, like, making equivalencies. I mean, I don't, I don't know how I could be. Yeah. Uh, but point is, are we can get banned for bringing up 9-11 I don't, in, the, in the shadow wars do, of YouTube. Do you get banned for that? I don't know. <laughs> uh, oh, yeah, maybe for conspiracy. Who knows how they treat 9-11 conspiracies? Uh, who knows? I mean, yeah. you know, probably by, you know, beheading you. Uh, yeah. <laughs> Or whatever. And that's not fair. <laughs> Wasn't that just an anniversary for the guy who got beheaded? Like the, not the I mean, a bunch of them did, but that journalist. Oh, was it? Daniel it, Pearl. It was an anniversary? R.I.P. Should I say that? R.I.P.? Yeah, rest in peace. Yeah, I mean, I got, I got nothing bad to say about the guy. Yeah, I mean, I'm not I saying like that anything. was fake. That was he totally was real. He was doing journalism, right? I think so. <laughs> Look, I don't care if he was doing muckraking journalism. You shouldn't behead him. Yeah, I don't. I, I don't think he was doing muckraking. I'm just saying, like. I mean, uh, nowadays, if people go on for the New York Times, it's like they probably would say something like yeah, that. Yeah, that's the thing. I don't think there's any journalism that's so bad that the person should be killed for doing it. I mean, there's probably a few. But, you know. but- <laughs> I mean, I'm not, trying, I'm not trying to make a blanket statement, but I'm just saying, I, don't, I don't think he fell into the realm of, uh, he wasn't like, he, didn't, he wasn't one of the guys, like, I imagine if he was one of the guys storming Princess Diana's car on a motorcycle, oh, trying yeah. to get an upskirt picture. <laughs> Weren't they getting upskirt pictures of her dead body? Oh, did they? I don't know. That could that could be something I'm making up, but I feel like they did. I feel like they were definitely getting pictures of the body, and they might, I think they rearranged her. Like they did some despicable stuff, Ooh. and they might have tried to get enough. I mean, that would have been. I mean, who even wants that? I don't even get upskirts in general. I think they're kind of not really. I mean, People I don't want some shit. First of all, I don't mean like upskirts, like surreptitious syrup, upskirts. Like those are never cool. Yeah. Those are never good. But even the porn ones are like, what is this? Yeah, I mean, typically I'd be like, yeah, who, like, I, I feel that way. Like, who wants that? But, like, I feel like there is something weird, psychological, some psychological mechanism that makes the public, like, really want to see, like. Yeah, because you want to spy on women. Like, that's what well, yeah, they really want to see, like, destroyed women specifically. Like, destroyed it's, women? You know, like, destroyed. But, well, it, it, there is something about that re- with Britney Spears, right? People have, are doing a whole cultural reckoning on the treatment of well, I think Britney people Spears. are trying to help Britney Spears. No, but can like, we be on? Can I, instead of shouting out Big Joel, can we shout out like we're on Team Britney? Oh yeah, totally. I'm all I'm all for. It. I mean, that saying. her creepy dad trying to like you know. I don't care if she would spend all the money on gum. Do I care? <laughs> Who gives a shit? I mean, like, well, she's gonna waste it on a panda bear or something? Right. Some giraffe painted yellow, blue, well, they're yellow, right? Painted green, <laughs> pink, pink panda. That's probably more like a, a pink giraffe. Ten million dollars. She's done. Now she's got to eat dirt. Whatever. Yeah. Like, I'm not going to, like, like, that can happen. Let it run its course. And right. I'm not saying it would. I'm not saying Britney would buy a $10 million painted giraffe and ride it around Beverly Hills or wherever she lives, uh, fall off, hit, hurt her head, uh, probably have to, you know, I'm not saying any of this would definitely happen. Well, this seems to be, like, a mistake, a cycle that keeps happening with child stars where they're, like, you know, it's, like, we make all these laws, like, well, it's like this kid can't possibly spend this money responsible. It needs to go to responsibly. It needs to go to somebody, and then the and then the child star is like ninety years old and destitute. Have and they like, ever not been ripped off? Panhandling on the street. Have they ever not been ripped off by their parents? It happened to Mickey Rooney. Was it Mickey Rooney? Like had no money by the time he died. Who's Mickey Rooney? Right, he's like one of the biggest child. But he stars. was a big star in his old, like old age. What are you talking about? Mickey Rooney was like a massive star. Um, it, look, he was in a couple of, I think he was in a few things, but. I don't think, he, wait, what you, no, he was like a celebrity. Mickey Rooney? Yeah. No, but like not from, what, what, what were you saying he's famous from? He's famous from like movies from like the 40s, like where he was a teenager. Like where he was a kid. Okay, well, first of all, I'm talking about kids. I'm talking about some teenager. I heard some teenager, like Ansel Elgort or whatever. Right, we're, get, we're getting the sign back. Was Ansel Elgort a teenager? The, I, I've the, never heard of that. The baby driver. 
Oh. If you're the baby driver and you get ripped off by your parents, I mean, like I famously told my dad, you know, I'm going to burn your house, you know, down for over eggs. And if he stole $10 million from me. You definitely burn it down. I mean, phew, I'd buy a giraffe. <laughs> Fucking take a big shit on his chest. You think if a giraffe shit on my dad's chest, it would cave it in? Um, well, I'd figure it out either way. <laughs> don't steal from me, Dad. I don't think he would. But for the, for the record, my dad wouldn't steal from me. But if he did, ooh, uh, so I don't know. But look up Mickey Rooney now. That you have your computer back. I don't think you're right. I think Mickey Rooney was a famous man for, for the day he died. He was. He wasn't. I mean, look, he was a huge star when he was young. So like, he was. Pre, he was pretty famous. If he was destitute, died. it was because he was spending it all on cannolis and hookers. This guy. That's what yeah, that guy. He's famous. Well, yeah, he was famous, but that's the point. That's the irony of it is that he was the, the the grim irony of it is that he like had to like you know beg people for money I'm, according to legend at least. I'm confused. I mean, like it, it, I get it. Most of these people don't make it into stardom. Is the point? You know. Sure. Whatever. <laughs> what are you talking about Rooney for? Britney Spears. Her dad's keeping her in a <laughs> in some kind of like psychic cage. Right. And uh, I don't like it. I mean, I, look. I, we, we dispose of women in this culture, and I'm sick of it. You know, you know she's out there dressed like a schoolgirl, uh, showing off her legs. And these men are fucking going, this is great, this is so sexy. Uh, Britney Spears, hot, hot young teen, great, great, great. And then as soon as, you know, the, you know she, her face starts to droop a little bit, they're like, ah, let her go to a fucking mental asylum. <laughs> right, Why yeah. Just let her sing. She could probably sing. I mean, she was on The Voice, right? As a judge or one of those shows? Was he? Was she? Oh, maybe. She was judging one of those shows of how Howie Mandel's just fucking drinking Purell next to her. I just, thought that she had had a big comeback, but maybe that was... Well, like, I don't think she's like, you know, I mean, she had an album. It's probably terrible. I'm out of the loop. It's probably a terrible <laughs> album, let's be honest. <laughs> yeah. I'm not... Look, no one, like, keeps it together, especially nowadays. Sure. When's the last time I start? I mean, like, Bowie was hitting... Bowie's, like, one of the greatest geniuses of all time, and his, his albums are hit and miss. I think Britney Spears is knocking it out of the park right. after 20 years in... Uh, and her, like in that movie Room, <laughs> she, like she, her dad's like the guy from that movie Room. They, like they locked her up, right? But you know, it's but she's and she's. Do you think she's just doing the dance in there? Yeah, it it sounds I'm like not it was that innocent. <laughs> it sounds like it was pretty dark. But how do you feel about this? Like a content ID for singing that? <laughs> I'm not that innocent. I think it's short enough. I think you had just made it under wow. the five. Imagine if mark. I. I mean, that'd be flattering if I if YouTube banned our show from. I think it's only from getting monetized. So but maybe that one you'll go to Britney. It, 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 maybe that money will go to Britney and help her. Maybe. I don't let Britney have not that innocent. <laughs> That's we, for you, Britney. You, can we afford the royalties to that song? No, no she's getting the money. She's going to monetize her from, our, from the ad. They'll turn the ads on for the episode, even though I don't have ads on right now. I don't they'll think turn, that's how that works. It is. <laughs> Pretty sure it is. <laughs> she could use the money. I mean, I'm just trying to help the girl out. Look, they won't. They won't. Uh, it won't get content f- copyright flag b- because of the length of it, but it will because you sang it too beautifully. Thank you. They're going to penalize you for singing that t- in a too lovely a fashion. Fair enough. I mean, I am. Uh, so what? What happened? Is Trump? Uh, is Trump like at the impeachment hearings? Uh, I don't think he. I don't think he's attending them. I think he sent some lawyer, lawyers. Lawyers. Because he fired the other ones, right? He had like four lawyers that he fired last, where they quit last week. Because he wanted to make so he wanted the whole thing to be about how the, the election was rigged, and therefore his actions like he wanted to, to defend, like say not I'm, I'm not guilty of, of inciting the riot, based on and his, the whole thing would be that because the riot was justified, <laughs> which I think is a bold move. I mean, right. for a bold man like Trump, it's a appropriately bold position. But these lawyers wanted nothing to do with it, and they, and they it said no. It would be great if that was their argument. <laughs> what did they do that was that bad? <laughs> Are you trying to steal the election? Right. Let me ask you, what, what, what was your ballot? What was, oh, sorry, go ahead. No, go ahead. I wasn't, I wasn't. Uh, <laughs> there, was a, there was a great part in the, because one of the big events of the day was that this uh, one senator, I, I don't know who he was, but he, was, he played a video uh, trying to line up different events with Trump's speech, you know, different events. Like the, the moon landing and the, and <laughs> like, like times they are changing. Right. Like the opening for the Watchmen. <laughs> They have Trump like shooting Kennedy and Trump like <laughs> Trump's uh, Kent State <laughs> flashbacks. That would be great. I mean, I, I, why why don't they do that? 
<laughs> Why don't they learn to like you know from Trump and like beat him with his own weapons? Mm. Like, not that he would make montages, but I like, feel like just something weird. Right. Just do something weird. <laughs> make like a fuck do a, do a, do a uh, interpretive dance based on how it made you feel. <laughs> you know to be to be to, when that guy tried to like you know uh, teabag you in the middle of the you know Capitol Rotunda, <laughs> but, like teabag rape. Now just gentle, te- you know, sure. aggressively teabag. Has that ever happened? It must. On, in the rotunda. I mean, I'm not in the rotunda per se, but like that, that's a, that's a move amongst creepy, aggressive, rapey. That's men, an, probably, that's an right? elite rapist move. I Did think. the mongrels ever do that? Just like jump up, like because they were athletes. The you know Genghis Khan's guys. Mm. They would just jump off their horses, and like you, and just you're being tea. They're like wrapped around you, like you know. They're like you know, I mean like you're standing up and their <laughs> legs are wrapped around your head and you're just getting tea bagged. <laughs> and that's just and then you just know like that's just decimating. You'll come back from that. That's the kind of thing like a historian would talk about, right. and like and then he would be like, look, clearly the human cost of this was horrible, but you have to respect <laughs> the 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 soldier. The, well, you're talking, about Dan, Carl, you're talking about Dan Carlin right here. Let's, let's not, like, you want shots fired, well, shots fired. Dan Carlin's hardcore history. I mean, you have to understand. Put yourself in the position of a European soldier. In of an acrobatic teabagging rapist. Well, he would be, no, his, his whole thing would be like, you're, you're just some guy in Europe, some dunce. Drinking your croissants. Drink, what? Eating croissants. Drinking croissants. <laughs> Whatever you do, drinking pea soup. And then you go out to, you know, grab your musket or whatever. And then this fucking maniac comes and teabags you. <laughs> Crazy. I mean, I lost halfway through the uh, commitment. to. I mean, that guy, that guy knows how to stretch out the. Yeah. Uh, I, th- I think the angle would be, you have to understand, to be a teabagging acrobat, the, 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 the amount of dedication oh, you have to too, put yeah. into your training. The, the, the flexibility your, combined with the pure strength. What's your vertical, uh, what do they call that? Your vertical jump? Right. What's your ver- your, this guy's got a 15-inch f- vertical. He's going to be teabagging everyone. <laughs> oh, man. They were. I mean, like, look, that guy just wanted everyone to know. I mean, you can't, look, certain people, look, I like the guy. This was a fun podcast. This was a hardcore history podcast. But he wanted everyone to really just know how athletic these murderers were. <laughs> <laughs> It really, it really just felt like, so, like we were being underserved by how much we knew about the uh, stamina of guys who like impaled babies. Right. <laughs> <laughs> anyway. Uh, um, but yeah, so oh. what was this, mon- this montage that they played for Trump? Yeah, so they are so it, during this video, they're they're showing like different footage of the Capitol storming, you know, kind of juxtaposed with Trump's like tweets and a speech. But there is one really funny part where it's like it's like a close up it's an iPhone video that's a close up of one of these Capitol stormers and he's just randomly flipping through some senators uh files <laughs> going, There's gotta be something in this that we can nail those bastards with. <laughs> like he's like <laughs> Wait, that's, that, 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 they had audio like he was <laughs> Yeah, there's audio. <laughs> what what was it? Is there a security camera footage? No, it's just some guy. I think it's a guy just filming another guy with an iPhone, I and mean, he's just flipping through the files. There's got to be something we can nail these. These, these guys make Watergate seem like the fucking you know the the, the, the Pink Panther <laughs> heist or whatever. I mean, oh, Jesus Christ! Yeah. I mean, <laughs> I imagine doing that just to get files. Like I would never thought. I'm, I'm sure the Senate has files, like secret files, like. There's the intelligence committee and those guys, and they and they have secret shit. But I gotta imagine most of that stuff is like the CIA doesn't give them the good stuff. I mean, like, you know, like these guys are so cynical, but they believe in like Senate, congressional oversight right. to the point where like all this really good juicy top secret information is like <laughs> actually in the no one they don't give that to the Senate. <laughs> they they give them bullshit. Don't you? Didn't you read nine eleven? Like the nine eleven stuff. It's like, yeah, no, it's yellow cake. It's terrible shit. Like they, they they lie to the Senate. That's the whole point. There's just a bit a piece of paper just titled "How We Stole the Election." Right? <laughs> I mean, I don't. Uh. And, and look, and no one's keeping the senators in the loop. <laughs> if, if, if this was rigged, it was like it's like getting rigged by like Chuck Schumer. <laughs> That's the weird thing about this. It's like there's no consistency of, re- of realism about like. It's like it's it's fantasticism, and then just like, but it's all being the, the the strings are being pulled by Barney Frank. Is he still around? Crazy Barney <laughs> Frank. 
Dennis here. And, and, and Dennis Kucinich. <laughs> <laughs> I don't understand. Like, no, it's like, so I, so I get, because he's a sh- He's at least seen as a shadowy figure. Is he shadowy? Probably. I mean, he's a billionaire. What does he make his money off of? Fucking dental floss? <laughs> what is George Story? He's a financier, right? Uh, yeah, I think or so. Some sort of investor? That I get, because I don't even know where the guy is, barely. Mm. Like, oh, he's doing it. Blame Soros. That made sense. But blame blame Chuck Schumer. He's in his kinte cloth stealing the election. Right. With Soros, at least you're in, like, the, the general parameter. Like, it's like, yeah. okay, guys with that much money, they're generally up to something. Like, right. it's like, you know, sure. Sure. <laughs> no, whatever. I mean, I, but look, valiant effort. Like, I mean, I, look, I, I feel this. Should I feel the same way I do about soldiers? I don't mean that. They're, but like, with soldiers, I'm like, look, they're like, we just die for your freedom. Like, I, I, I believe you believe that. Right. <laughs> I mean, thank you. Thank you for trying. I don't think you, that's what was happening when you, you know, invaded right. Sri Lanka or whatever the fuck. I mean, I don't want to say Afghanistan. I'm just repeating over and over, but it is an actual thing we did. Uh, <laughs> whatever. I'm just saying, like you know, I, I, but I they, guess they, I was skeptical of this compared, but now it actually it is perfect. It's a perfect yeah, but like, look, I mean, but do I give them more credit? Of course, I give them what way more credit. But should I have a little bit of my heart go? Look, this guy is misguided, and he shouldn't have stormed the Capitol. But he he want he, he he wanted me to have a he really wanted me to have a pure election. Right. An un, un, unfettered election. I mean, that's not what was going on, but like, isn't that a nice instinct? Yeah. I mean, look, there, there's during some of those. White- that, if, I was, if I was a lawyer for that, one of those guys, that'd be, that'd be me. No, that this actually guy, look, it would be pretty good. He got wrapped up in the, in the heat of the moment, but uh, he believed he watched uh, he watched Frank Capra movies as a kid. He believes in things. <laughs> He's a dreamer. We need dreamers. <laughs> Yeah, he took a shit on Pelosi's desk and covered it in blood. <laughs> called her, called her a pig whore. He's a dreamer. He's a dreamer. He thought she was the devil. <laughs> what would you do to the devil? <laughs> would you give him a cookie? <laughs> Case dismissed. <laughs> You're not allowed to say that. <laughs> the judge is yelling at me. Right. I, was, I, was just, I was just yelling at Case dismissed. <laughs> and they would just probably bar me from being a lawyer anymore. <laughs> Will I be disbarred if I yelled that consistently? Case dismissed. You start slamming on your desk. As de- a defense attorney, I just yell case dismissed. <laughs> you start slamming on your desk with your own gavel that you brought. <laughs> <laughs> uh, <laughs> a, yeah, I, what, what if I showed up wearing a judge's robe? <laughs> I mean, you could probably buy one, right? Or a costume one, at least. Are judges' robes kind of like like police uniforms where, like, you can get costume ones, but like they're kind of they at least technically have to be monitored. You can't just sell. Like, can you just sell copying forms? No, right? Maybe uh, you can. I feel like there's some there's some kind of like at least tur- like uh, law, like you know. Cop uniforms might be one thing. I don't think there's a law against impersonating. I mean, maybe if a you judge, maybe if you went there, really, there, far there definitely it. is. But if you just casually walked around as a cop, no, you can't impersonate a cop, Lucy. No, in a judge's robe. Well, no, he's, well, that's the difference. I'm I mean, not saying try to sit in a seat. Well, that's my, that's the point. That's, that, this this would be where the case rested on. <laughs> where I'm being convicted <laughs> of, you know, does it count as being, you know, impersonating the judge if I just, I'm clearly sitting in the lawyer's seat. Right. I'm sorry. Are you confused, Your Honor? Do you think you're a defense attorney? <laughs> Oh, do we do we have a problem here? Because you should know you're the judge. You should know that. Will you respond to that? <laughs> I don't think. Um, I think it, I think it would. Uh, the more curious of aspect of it to me is like if you showed up like that and said nothing, would he well, no, bring, well, would uh, he bring it up? Yes, oh, of course he would. Look, see, <laughs> this wasn't this wasn't set up. I thought it was implied that like I wasn't coming in going, look at me, my judge is uniform. This is a robe, and I'm wearing it. Gonna be the defense attorney. No, no, I clearly. I don't assumed, know. I can imagine you doing that. I, well, I mean, I'm not. It's a little on the nose. Sure. I mean, I assume I would sit down, and the judge would just be like, well, "What's going on here?" And I would, you know, and then start yelling at him. Mm. Like I wouldn't, you know, he would. I would escalate it pretty quickly. <laughs> You know, what, 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 you got a problem with what I'm wearing? I mean, you're, you're, you're such a good judge. Why are you, you know, threatened by me wearing a robe? What's this robe What's this robe thing all about? Is it you part of your Illuminati? You part of the, 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 the secret sandals? What? Uh, secret, secret symbols? The Da Vinci numbers? 
You got Da Vinci numbers in your, in your robe? What are you doing? <laughs> Let me go. <laughs> uh, yeah, I don't know. I mean, look, whatever. I mean, my cousin Vinny, I mean, that guy was wearing, like, stupid, you know, uh, suits. They let him be a lawyer. That's true. That movie is pretty accurate, they say. <laughs> they say it's one of the most accurate legal films of all time. Really? Yeah. No, it's like, if so, like it, that as far can't as, possibly be it's true. It's totally true. It's because of all the procedures they get right. They get they get most of it right. All the whole way. I don't know if he Even was like. Even the part where his girlfriend is like being called as a witness. That seemed a little like a stretch. Yeah, <laughs> but even that, I mean, the, the the point she was making. But I mean, I don't think they would. Uh, I mean, just the fact that a woman would know that much about cars is kind of a stretch. <laughs> Let's be honest. Ah, um, I, I worked. No. In my, that was that was the biggest red herring of the film. Hey, I worked every summer in my dad's auto shop. Did you? <laughs> did you? <laughs> I'm not saying women can't, but she did. I like to imagine that it's like it's like look, no court, and you're like you're talking to a legal expert about it, and a real legal expert, and they're like, look, no court in the country would let a woman testify about cars. <laughs> I'm not saying it's right, but it's just press, press tax. What's going to happen? Uh, in the perfect world, perhaps. Uh, trying to get her bags here. Give her the Oscar. She played. A, she, they gave her the Oscar. That's how unlikely it was. They, they gave her an Academy Award for that film because she convincingly played played a woman who knew about cars. <laughs> uh, I'm, I'm a man of the people. So what what happened? Um, keep, you're here to keep us on track. Oh, anyway. Where are we? Where are we in, in the whole? There were to your point about you know misguided people. There were yeah. people like I did. I saw a couple of clips. There were like a bird's eye of the crowd. And there's people shouting all kinds of stuff, but it's like you, you can hear a couple of people shouting to like the Capitol Police officers. They're like, "Join us!" <laughs> I weren't that far off in some cases. It's like, yeah, right. I don't, I, look, I don't know what's what was going on. I mean, some of them, I don't know. Is that part of the gimmick or the or the, or, or the narrative? Oh you, well, you know, it, I did. I remember like reading about that. Like, it's a, were the Capitol police officers complicit in this? But then, like, you see some footage and like those guys are kind of getting the shit kicked out. Well, I don't think all of them. I yeah. think at least like if maybe anything, a couple. Yeah, I think the, the the if anything the command structure. Right. Or I don't know. I mean, again, this is not me. I'm not doing a deep dive on on this because why would I? It's just a <laughs> it's just a fun romp. Uh I don't know. It just seems like there's no news anymore. Yeah. This is like this is like the age of Biden. And we're like, you know, we're just all we got is Trump news still. Right. I mean, they predicted this, but I really thought they'd make more muck. Like everyone was so geared up to be, muck, you know, just talking nonstop, twenty four seven, and then you know, Biden comes in and it's just, you know, what's everyone doing? Where is everyone? Why aren't they <laughs> muckraking? Right. I don't yeah. know. Uh, They've gotten quiet. They've got, there's still like corrupt shit happening, but they're just, it's all, the dial's been turned back to like, maybe cover I should, this in the most boring way possible. Maybe this is a perfect time for me to do stunts. <laughs> maybe. New stunts. Dress up like a bird and go flying, you know, running around the Capitol for, I mean, that, how, think about, think about that. One of those Spider-Man guys, you know, those guys who climb buildings. <laughs> what? I'm a, what? They're Spider-Man. They call them Spider-Man. That's what they do. <laughs> It's a, it's a it's a known thing that the guys will even if they're not dressed like Spider Man they'll go climbing you know the Empire State Building and the news will declare another Spider Man roaming around that's a code word for a guy climbing a building in New York City but imagine if it was the Capitol Rotunda amazing that'd be an amazing story I don't I I'm not an expert on these things. Yeah. But something tells me people are not going to be in the mood for any kind of shenanigans. No, <laughs> because I got out, I get out there. Like, what are you doing? Is he is he one of the, the bad guy, the assassins? Is he one of the fucking? <laughs> is he on the Al, Al Qaeda's? And like, oh no, he's climbing to the top. And I get to the top and I unfurl my flag. Oh no, it's the ISIS flag. No, it's just the McDonald's flag or, <laughs> or you know, just a Baba Booey flag. I don't know, or just something like fun. Yeah. Some or it's a big a big dick. Mm. A big, not a big cartoon dick. <laughs> I, mean, I could do better than that. What would it be? It would just be maybe it just says, maybe it just says, like it's the Cump logo. Yeah, it's the Cump. Yeah, sure. That that actually looks more like the ISIS flag. <laughs> 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 people would just think this is like people, uh, honestly, like we might accidentally become wrapped up in some fascist overthrow. <laughs> no, Cump will definitely become like a chapter of the K, uh, the KKK. Some what? Inter- like, Don't say chapter. that. <laughs> I mean, That's terrible. <laughs> 
It was, it was, it was, look, I, I, I was saying it'll get appropriated. I was on the, on the verge of whimsy there, but you just threw it right <laughs> over the edge. <laughs> this is terrible. I'm not saying you're... I don't want that. <laughs> oh, my God. It would well, be can't. horrible. So you have to keep things in a, in a whimsical... It's like, it's like a railroad car. I fell off the tightrope on that one, fell off the tightrope on that one, babe. <laughs> don't say that word. <laughs> I do. Or those letters. <laughs> No, I mean, it's fine. Uh, uh, I disagree. Mm. I disagree. It'll become a chapter in that <laughs> awful organization. Uh, but, you know, you're entitled to your opinion. That's fine. It's, we're, we're in a pluralistic uh, society. Um, but so, so I'm just saying, like a stunt, like a nice, what if I... Uh, a wholesome stunt. What if I ran around New York City to start throwing Skittles as hard as I can in people's mm-hmm. face? Just a whole bag. But you get a bag of Skittles. Mm. And they get sponsored by Skittles, maybe. And then uh, I don't know, I'm yelling, I got a gun. See, now that sounds like an Antifa thing. <laughs> they don't have Skittles. They, they, just, they just knock over, like, you know, newspaper stands. They throw sweet treats at people. That's their whole thing. <laughs> oh, with the milkshakes? <laughs> it's a- oh, you're right, actually. Yeah, throw, my, my, I'm, I'm throwing a whole, like, look, if I was throwing a handful of Skittles at your head, <laughs> I mean, oh, eat them off the floor, pig. That's their move. I'm, I'm keeping them in the bags. So you, you know, at the end of it, you get to keep it. You look at it and go, what the fuck? That's nice. And you yeah. look at it and go, oh, look, it's a sealed bag. I mean, it could be worse. <laughs> <laughs> you know, I'm thinking, you know, it's, oh, it's tropical fruit. I haven't, I haven't had these in years. Uh, Skittles, I don't, I mean, they're, they're fine, but they're a little sweet for my taste. Mm. But uh, if someone threw my head, what if I just throw in Skittles screaming, I got a gun. <laughs> But you know, but then you get Skittles. People think he's a, it's a, it's an active shooter, but it's just a Skittle boy. <laughs> I'm just saying, uh, people always would say during the Trump era that like, oh, remember when this would be news? It was just some goofy thing. Mm. But now we have fascism on the verge of fascism. Okay, oh, well, sure. and let's bring it back. Let's bring. I'll get a boombox and just start, uh, you know, uh, doing dance parties in the middle of uh, a police precinct. Mm. And it was Dan, you know, I don't know. Yeah. Meet me halfway here. Bring help me out here. Come on, help me out here. Well, <laughs> leave me as a dry here. I know. I'm not. That's a terrible one. Please, please. I'm on board. It's not even fun. Go break dance for. I can't do any of this. Though. I don't I don't leave my house. <laughs> I'm just like, I need a wheelchair. <laughs> I just roll around in a wheelchair, like, you know, just, I don't know, drinking beer. <laughs> <laughs> drinking beer? <laughs> just being a pig. I don't know. I get nothing tonight on this. I don't know. You want to hear about the... Uh, Just being drunk in a wheelchair. That's my, whole, <laughs> that's my stunt. I'm a drunk in a wheelchair. <laughs> What's it mean? I don't know. I mean, are, you, are you attacking people in wheelchairs? Probably not. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, what is this? Who are you, you showing me? Who is that guy? Uh, it, it's, it's a that lady. That guy's so fucking old. It's a lady. What the fuck is this? <laughs> this is the... Uh, I wish we could show this right now. The oldest person in I'm Europe. staring at the... Uh, uh, I don't want to be mean. But it looks, like, it looks like a fucking... Like, like, like silly putty. <laughs> this is what you look like when you're 117 years old. I would know. I'm not... Uh, this is, uh, so why are you showing me as old person? Because they survived. They're the oldest person in Europe, and, and she survived COVID. Oldest person in Europe? Yeah. She's 117. You, you got to do the math, right? How long ago was it World War II? Less than 112 years, right? She c- clearly couldn't. You, mm. <laughs> I mean, what, what is she? You know, she's one, one of the five people who wasn't collaborating with the Nazis. <laughs> Let's hope. Oh, she survived COVID. <laughs> who didn't survive? <laughs> I mean, I'm not trying to cast aspersions, but I mean, like, there wasn't a lot of clean hands. Mm. In the uh, what, what country is she from? She's Did you say from, Europe? Uh, as if it doesn't like matter. Uh, southern France. Oh yeah. Well, what are the odds that she? Uh, how so? Wait, she's 117. So 100 years ago would have been uh, 20, 20. Oh, she was like 40 during the war. She could totally have been like you know, selling, just buying you know, stolen gold. Yeah. Old uh, enough to know better <laughs> during World War II. Old, old enough for what? <laughs> uh, yeah, I don't know. I mean, she's just out there, like, you know, basking. I mean, this is kind of, this is a mo- plot of a movie where it's like, isn't this what happened with Eichmann? Adolf mm-hmm. Eichmann? The uh, the famed uh, 
Nazi inventor of the Holocaust. Mm. And then the Israel went to, they got him in Argentina. They brought him back. They hung him. Mm. Maybe, you know, I don't, I'm not got nothing to base this on. He's just a random old woman who, I guess, <laughs> did she have COVID? I mean, look, you're right. Am I attacking a woman who had COVID? Is that what's happening here? Yeah, she survived COVID. All right, I, I just, in my head, thought like she didn't get COVID. <laughs> I guess that's one way to survive COVID. <laughs> okay, so she had COVID. <laughs> All right. Yeah, I mean, I don't know what, what to make of this now. So I'm supposed to be scared of COVID? I mean, I'm not saying don't be scared of COVID. This is like, this is like, I get, I'm not the guy saying don't worry about COVID. But like, stop acting like they're the biggest lunatics in the world. Right. I mean, yeah, there's a certain level of randomness you have to accept with this. But like, you know, we're not exactly, like the, the amount of things we, we, don't, we don't have nuance about. Why would we be nuanced about COVID? Hundred, look at it. She she survived uh, an allied prison camp, <laughs> but she and now she survived COVID. One hundred and seventeen years young. Uh, what, what, why is it a story? Like how like where, how long is the article? Where, what's the talk about? Like we we put something in her lungs, we drain the fluid out. Like how does this go on? More than like two sentences. She's a nun. Oh God. <laughs> So she's like a witness to everything. <laughs> she she was deep in it. She's a I mean the heart the she was deep in the heart. It seems like the, the more and more there seems to be a correlation with like oh we're finding out that the priests are bad and they did bad stuff and we're gonna hopefully stop them and, and more and less and less nuns. <laughs> What's the connection there? <laughs> like there's nothing there's nothing left for them to do. Right. <laughs> what were the nuns doing during that whole? Uh, 50, 100 years of... It seems to me that it's like if you were involved in the Catholic Church in Europe like during during World War II and you're an old person now and there aren't like dozens of children who like give speeches about you and cry about you, right. then you were a terrible person. I mean, at the very <laughs> like least, a child has to... Like, look, you could, be, you could be innocent, but there's got to be like dozens of children who like are perplexed how you could be. Right. Right, like, how could she not know? I, I did. I really didn't. I'm sorry. I, I, I had no. But how was it possible? Every single priest, the only nuns, they're, they're all fucking me. You, you're the only. I guess you're the only one. <laughs> the, I'm the only one. <laughs> only one not fucking you. Yeah. That's so crazy. I know it's crazy. I'm sorry. <laughs> if I was in your shoes, I wouldn't believe me either. But I'm just telling you, it's true. I'm, I, I, I'm, I'm, I'm the only one. She probably saved kids from the Holocaust. <laughs> she, they come to another country and get fucked by priests. Oh god. <laughs> We're just making a lot of assumptions here. <laughs> wild, wild assumptions about perhaps a lovely Mazel tov to her. <laughs> All right, let's just get that out of the way. We're happy that she's okay. We don't, you know, none of this is is, a, is true, probably. If it, if it happens to be true, that's just coincidence. An educated guess, maybe. Educated guess. We're not the ones who know. Yeah. No, I'm just saying, like, you know... I, if it turns out that she collaborated and then, like, you know, did stuff with kids, I mean, like, I wouldn't be surprised, but I have no reason to believe. I have, reason, I have no reason to know that. <laughs> <laughs> Just say. <laughs> it's not true because we say it's true. If it's right. true, it's because there's lots of documentation about it that's being hidden. Oh, uh, you guys are really assholes. It's only 25% <laughs> of priests who fuck it. Oh, only a quarter of them. Okay. <laughs> All right. It's only 33.6% of all active priests who ever molested a child more than, more than once. 60% of you included everyone one time. But it's, just, it's not all of them. Again, these numbers are all, uh, you know, highly spurious probably. But I, mean, I just, look, this is, what you, this is what we found. It's like when you find a rat in New York City, you know what that means? You find a, a rat in your, in your kitchen, mm. what's that mean? He's got 10,000 rats in your wall. Mm-hmm. Just eating dicks. Eating ra- they cutting dicks off people, eating them in their walls, leaving half a dick in your wall. You don't know <laughs> what's going on. I'm just saying, like, you know, so, oh, you found this many priests and this many collaborators in a COVID hospital? <laughs> COVID <laughs> like, hospital. <laughs> how many? <laughs> um, well, you know, glad she's okay, I guess. I mean, what she do? What, what, is she still a nun? No, I think she she's retired. Do you retire from being a nun? I guess so because you know, uh, you, at a certain age, you can't pick a kid up. <laughs> it's just, you know, they're small, but still, it's like you know they're frail. Uh, they're, they're, their spines curve, and they can't like you would think they'd be able to pick up a 50, you know thirty pound kid, but it's it's 
<laughs> just joints aren't what they used to be. Uh, yeah. So, is, is, is there? Any, is, does she play bridge? But like, you know, <laughs> I think she. Uh, what is his article? Like, I I never understand how article. Why can't articles just be like the Onion? Just, just, just the headline, or like, yeah, a paragraph. Like, what do I need? Like, they always have to fill. Like, journalists have to fill gaps. The, I mean, the worst case example is when they do like those little slideshows to get you to like click on more things. You know, you want to find out. There's always, there's always stuff that you kind of want to know. Like, do you want to find out the sexual position that Buffy the Vampire Slayer likes in real life? And it's like, <laughs> I mean, I, I, uh, it just sounds interesting. I I mean, now you got me curious, and you click, and you realize it's a it's a slideshow, and like fuck this, what is it, Zergnet? Those are Zergnet things. What is uh, what is the Pope like to eat and eat with mayonnaise? (laughs) This is why I don't do it because these are not things I can't think of things. I mean, there are people whose job it is to come up with these things. Mine would just be like. You know, raspberries mixed again. I'm start, I'm starting with the word raspberry. <laughs> I don't know what I'm doing here. I can't be a journalist. Um, <laughs> I mean, what, do you have one? You, you you get better than me. What, what uh, uh, make, it, make it make it make it make it a great click uh, list. Um, these skeletal remains will show you something amazing. About the history of the human species. It's actually really, it was a little, it's a little lame, but it's actually much better than mine. <laughs> but you have to be like these skeletal, these skeletal remains will show you. you be, you'll be surprised which uh, celebrity is uh, also inside these skeletal remains. <laughs> which hot young teen celebrity is also a skeleton? <laughs> You think they were written by serial killers? If I was a serial killer, I mean, I would never be. I don't respect. I've, I've talked about this endlessly. How I don't respect serial killers. I don't, you know, covet them. I don't want to be like them or be their friend. But if I was one, which I wouldn't be, and you know, the only way I'd be a serial killer is if it was like if it was a serial killing, like you know, Olympic athlete. I mean, I'm gonna say this because now Olympic athletes gonna, you know, attack and it's gonna they're gonna blame me. But someone formidable, mm. whatever. Point is, uh. If I was, I would just I would make listicles about the people I killed. <laughs> how how does he get this information? <laughs> yeah, like, <laughs> I wonder. I wonder what a uh, guy from McDonald's uh, is now uh, <laughs> in a dumpster near McDonald's. <laughs> and you click it. And just <laughs> I'm making a ton of money off these clicks. <laughs> I get the check at the end of the month. I find that's only like a hundred bucks, and I got, I went viral. Right. So many people clicked my my listicle. <laughs> And like those people, like, they do it for no money. Mm. This gig, gig economy, they call it. It's for the birds. <laughs> Fucking waste all this time killing McDonald's boys. <laughs> <laughs> Fucking leave him in the dumpster right next. To, I could, I should have buried him somewhere better, but like McDonald, you know, he's. In, I needed that headline in right. the dumpster near McDonald's. It sounds interesting. Right. It ties it together. <laughs> uh, but yeah. <laughs> <laughs> now it seems lame because I'm realizing this McDonald's like, employee heard heard a strange noise outside of his McDonald's where he worked at, and when he went outside, something amazing happened. <laughs> find out, <laughs> find out why, <laughs> find out which kind of sauce this McDonald's employee in the dumpster didn't give a guy <laughs> without charging him extra. <laughs> find out. <laughs> Find out which uh, um, find out how many barbecue sauces this guy died over. <laughs> find, find out why this guy should have just fucking kept his head down and given given someone all the sauce they wanted. <laughs> Just fucking no one. Why didn't want? Why gotta be a problem? Oh, <laughs> <laughs> uh, I wouldn't. I wouldn't do that. Uh, I wouldn't kill someone over sauce. No, <laughs> no. Is that even good sauce? <laughs> Sweet and sour is shit. <laughs> find, find out, Imagine find, if you got killed over sauce and it wasn't even good. Yeah, find out. Find out which sauce that turned out to be kind of mediocre. This guy died for <laughs> to protect. <laughs> what you, you what you buy the sauce yourself? The fuck? <laughs> Does this make any sense? Yes. Right. I mean, maybe. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> if 
find out how how many times this guy said, I'm going to call my manager before I fucking right. yeah, yeah. <laughs> throw a rock at I mean, this is, at a certain point, I mean, why am I not caught yet? <laughs> I was yelling at this guy about sauce all day, and then, and then he ends up dead, and like, I'm not... I'm still making listicles. <laughs> <laughs> no one's at my door. <laughs> the cops are like knocking the door. Oh, I got this is listicle. <laughs> uh. What I learned about policing underserved communities by killing multiple <laughs> McDonald's workers. Oh man, when- don't do this. Don't don't do it. It's not good. <laughs> they don't deserve that. No. Uh, no one does. But least of all, well, not least of all, but they don't. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, not least of all. I mean, no, the there's probably someone less deserving of. <laughs> it's a weird thing to say. Least of all them. Like, well, the least of all is probably some, you know. Baby with. With a fucking sword. Yeah. <laughs> Baby <laughs> with a sword. Well, it has a hold of a sword. It's really cool, right? Right, yeah. It is cool. I, mean, I don't even like babies usually, but this baby's kind of cool. Don't let anything bad happen to that baby. Imagine if a baby killed someone with a sword. Yeah. <laughs> and there was a video of it. Mm. I mean, look, why can't the internet ever make something good? <laughs> like a baby just killing someone. With a, didn't they do that, actually? I, I, I can't imagine Is that a loaded question? There was, some, there was something. There was some, it was an adult, I think. But an adult killed someone with a sword. That's very different from a baby <laughs> killing is. someone with a sword. It is. But there was something, I think he was like uh, 18. <laughs> and he, he was like a nerd. Oh, so like, he's, he's basically a baby. Yeah. No, but it would be kind of cool <laughs> to see a baby with his own sword. And just stabbing people. <laughs> Imagine that and the case didn't get solved. And that was just, you know, it just went, the baby went around murdering. <laughs> this episode's kind of weird, isn't it? It is, it is pretty weird. You know, it's, uh, next topic. Okay. Next topic. <laughs> next topic. <laughs> <laughs> um, you want to talk about this lie in the water thing? Let's just make this a, you know, a, a, a gallery of horrors. Yeah, well, so you were telling me about this. Refresh my memory. What is this? Um, there was a cyber attack in this Florida town where a hacker hacked into a water treatment facility. And basically, I guess there's like a dial for like how much, uh, you know, essentially lie you can put into the water and I, I guess there's like a certain amount they use to like uh, to ad- adjust the acidity but I guess the dial goes all the way up to like 10,000 parts per million which is poisonous like beyond poisonous right and this hacker managed to like turn it up to like 10,000 parts per million why are you assuming it's a hacker in Florida and not just like some like some drunk idiot in Florida who like stumbled into the water plant and like kicked, kicked the fucking thing <laughs> So he thought he thought there was a like gold inside of it. You could buy meth. <laughs> just kicked it. Oh, this must be a, everything in Florida. Every trauma, like this, must be a, some woman's just splayed out dead in the street. The cops like must be a hacker. <laughs> <laughs> Those hackers are really going to, to going to town on us. Just fucking, just a bunch of people with their arms cut off by some El Salvador and fucking <laughs> mama, mama, all these hackers, <laughs> cyber attacks everywhere. <laughs> Um, I say it wouldn't be a suburb. It'd, it'd be more Cuban. I don't know. But in the eighties, they had a lot of Cuban violence, right? Mm. Those kill king cowboys. That were they? Was it Colombia? I can't keep track. No, it was Colombia. <laughs> maybe I don't know. There was it, my, my you know Florida in the eighties was very violent. If you watch Netflix, <laughs> uh, right? You know they tell you about it. Um, but apparently now it's all cyber attacks. Yeah, because you know they they, they apparently now. No one's fighting over cocaine. They're just hooking up poison to to to, to dials, <laughs> right? For no reason. It's like, why does it go up that far? Why don't you just have a guy whose job it is to put put the pellets of lie into the water? <laughs> why are we automating everything in this fucking country? <laughs> what's the I, I, what's the point of this? I mean, oh, uh, we'll save. How much are you paying that guy? The guy will get paid like eight dollars an hour anyway. Like, how much, how much is it worth it? <laughs> right. At a certain point, it's just like it's not saving us money. Yeah, I mean, it's like, what is like the situation where you're like, well, look, we should be able to poison the water. Some fucking, the mayor of this dumb town, his kid's probably like a, you know, he got out of prison early on a web programming, you know, like program. He's like, oh, if he goes to community college for web programming, the judge will let him out early. (laughs) So he fucking designed the towns. Like, I I can make a fucking program to, you know, put the blind in the water. (laughs) What? 
Why would you do that? I don't know. I mean, everything, everything else has programs already. <laughs> uh, you, I mean, you take, you already have a program for the stoplights. Yeah, I don't want you making stoplight program. You just got out of prison. <laughs> you know, you're, you're prejudiced against prisoners. Yeah, whatever. <laughs> you might as well wait a year before you program the stoplights. You fuck you, dad. But anyway, but he's like, hey, why, why, why don't you, hey, here's something. Why don't you fucking make the poison, the poison dial for for the water? <laughs> Have it make, give it a website. <laughs> <laughs> so you're looking like, the mayor wants to lock it on his phone. You're like, I don't feel like I, you know, I have to go, I have to, go to the fucking water plant to, to, to fucking put. I mean, it's not like he'd be putting the pellets in, right? <laughs> This is also some scumbag didn't want to like leave the dog track because he's like oh like he had to like leave twice a day from the dog you know where they race dogs yeah make dogs race each other until they die sure <laughs> this guy was like oh even though I'm here I'm company on on the town's dime I should be working but I, I you know I'm just betting on dogs <laughs> but I gotta leave twice a day to put pellets of lime into the water I wish I would just make a fucking website that I could fucking. <laughs> And the, the mayor, like, and he was drinking with the mayor one day. He was just, he was just the mayor was at the dog track, mm. and he was just like, "I wish I would make a fucking pellet." And like, you know, my son's got out of jail. <laughs> Maybe he can make a pellet website for you to put these poison pellets in the water, and then someone inexplicably hacked it. <laughs> someone hacked the poison pellet machine. <laughs> the fuck is wrong with us? <laughs> Why are we alive? I don't know. Yeah. How are we not all dead under these circumstances? This is the dumbest country in the world. <laughs> just fucking, we should just, we should be eating poison. <laughs> I don't know. Did, did, did they find out who did it? I I don't think they found out who did it. Um, find the guy. Find the kid. Gonna kind of fight with his dad. Right. The mayor's dad. Yeah. And then uh, he was the mayor was molesting them. I don't know. I mean, these are all imaginary people, right? You can say that. <laughs> sure, yeah. The, man, the mayor was molesting the pellet, the pellet website boy, who's his son. And so he got back at him by, by like hitting the, hitting the release poison button. Mm. <laughs> I built a back door into my poison website. <laughs> Why is this so <laughs> to the internet? Why is everything on the fucking internet? This what is like this a... data? What are they going to do with all this data? Uh, yeah, I, I don't like, know. Do I don't want? know why that. It, I don't know why any part of that function is available to anyone. I don't know why. Like who? Like we buy like fucking pizza and fucking soda and, and don't donuts and occasionally like stocks that you know don't make money. And like and what? what, what who's who's advertising? Who's getting all this money to advertise to me with data? <laughs> who's stealing my data? What are you gonna do with my data? Mm. Like sell me fucking different pizza? <laughs> What's the end game here? <laughs> what is all of this? Mm. Like it's like, oh, they're, they're gonna get all your data. Everyone's like, everyone's in these fucking pockets going. They're stealing your fucking data off your phone. Like, what? I get, I'm gonna get a fucking coupon for like you know Dunkin' Donuts. <laughs> what's, what's the difference? Yeah. What is anyone gonna do? They're gonna be, take my identity. Mm. Who's gonna want my identity? For sure. <laughs> fucking poison pellet boys gonna fucking. Yeah, maybe just like maybe we should just start with like removing the kill us all button on some of our robots, <laughs> and then we can figure out like no. how to keep people from selling you pizza. No, I think I think that's I think that's that can wait. <laughs> I, yeah, the, the likelihood of that happening twice is just like who's gonna who's gonna hack the poison button twice? <laughs> I mean, if people would talk about like fucking oh how these hacker kids could get into like the power grid. Like we'll take the power grid off the fucking internet. <laughs> Mm. Get off for, like for some reason we decided that like all our technology has to play by like you know teen action movie rules yeah. where it's like if if someone can't just stumble into this randomly what's the fun what's well, like all oh, the internet like you, know, you, you hack into the pentagon pentagon's not on the internet mm. it's not like some cipranet thing it's like on a different internet yeah you gotta hack i mean i guess you could find some way if you're like you know a military power but uh yeah, that kid, the fucking you know, the prison kid with the poison pellet, he's not hacking into the Pentagon. <laughs> he doesn't even know there's different internets. He's like Cipranet and his Doxnet. I don't know what the fuck it is. I mean, he's just, he's fucking, he's, he's just trying to steal from the mayor, who's his dad. <laughs> um, I don't know what we're talking about here. You've created an interesting backstory for a villain here. <laughs> I'd love to find this kid and just, you know, put him back in jail. <laughs> 
<laughs> that, that guy deserves to be in jail. Yeah, look, not everyone, not everyone, it, it, not the Innocence Project doesn't need to help everyone. <laughs> <laughs> this kid just, we, we let this kid out and he fucking poisoned the water. <laughs> it's enough. All right. Mm. Uh, this has been fun. Yeah. Has it been coherent? I don't know. I'm sure some parts of it make sense. It's great. This is what you signed up for. This is, this is why you come. I think this is a classic comp. This might be the best one ever. Yeah. I mean, the, the fact that I'm like sitting here, I don't know. It's like people, you know, this is, this is it. This is, this is your, put, we're going to put bowls of cherries in your mouth and make you the king. <laughs> I'm like, all right. Um, sign up for the Patreon to get an extra episode every week. If you can't type my name in, just go to my Twitter. Go to my Instagram or go where you are now. When you're listening, you're listening to this, you're watching this, the links are there. You just click it. People keep messaging me. I'm like, I'm like, thank you for messaging me. I don't know what to say, though. Like, uh, oh, yeah, really, they probably are trying to fuck me, aren't they? <laughs> we, should, we should band together. Are you with me? Let's go, let's go fucking hack the mayor's. I don't know. Yeah, how come none of you black hat hackers can help us out with this one? They'll probably. You, you, now, now we're going to get hacked. <laughs> Anytime you ask for black hat hackers do anything. <laughs> you was the last person to ask a hacker publicly for something? Who? Trump. <laughs> but during 20, within 2016, like, well, I want the hackers to release some documents. And that guy had four years of, of grief over it. Right. Don't ask black hat ha- Stop asking <laughs> black hat hackers to do stuff on our podcast. <laughs> it's a problem. <laughs> anyway, you, you meant well. It's fine. Yeah. Uh Yes, yeah, so sign up for the Patreon. Get an extra episode every week. It's great. I mean, really, it's great. It's great. Uh, next week we should be back to Sundays. Whatever. I mean, I mean, not whatever. But I'm just saying, like, I'm not gonna apologize. I'm not gonna sever my like femoral artery and and in the uh, you know uh, contrition. <laughs> great. Where can people find you? Oh, you can follow me on Twitter and Instagram at the Steinbag. That's great. It's power. See, fuck power. And uh, have a great week. We'll see you again uh, Sunday. Yes. Enjoy. <laughs>